So now to an update on the power outages in Logan County. As we mentioned, Governor Sanders issued that state of emergency after Sunday's storm. And with these high temperatures, many are still without power tonight. And that means that they don't have air conditioning or fans to run. Five News reporter Rachel Williams spoke to a representative with the utility company OG&E to learn more about what's happening now. Rachel. As of right now, there are 500 people still without power. You can kind of see it behind me. That's in Logan County, and a spokesperson with OG&E says they have deployed about 100 trucks there earlier today and says since then that number of outages has drastically dropped. Power crews have been working around the clock since the EF2 tornado hit Logan County on Sunday. OG&E spokesperson Eddie Lee Herndon, Herndon says Scranton has been the hot spot with so much debris across the city. And OG&E says more than 2,000 cross arms were lost in 366 poles, which is equivalent to 68 miles of wire. Herndon also says crews are close to having power restored for everyone. I think today and tomorrow um, we hope to have everyone back on, but that's only it unless, you know, we encounter something that we're not expecting. But I think most everyone will be back on by the end of the day today and at least for, you know, for sure by tomorrow. As Herndon said, crews are doing everything they can to get the power back on and the company hopes to be done by 10 p.m. tomorrow. Now, if this timeline does change, we will be sure to update you here on air and online. Rachel Williams, 5 News. Thank you.